In this video, we're gonna be using Bailey's Irish Coffee by PAA and the leaf for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And once again, we're gonna be using the Bailey's Irish Coffee, but today, dome shave. And again, I'll run down the details on Bailey's Irish Coffee. This was originally released back in 2014 under the How to Grow a Mustache, mustache brand, uh, now PAA or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and it was released as Irish Cream, and this one has never been opened, and my face is right there. See the lips right there, eyeball? Anyway, it was very cool, and I always appreciated that. But this year, Douglas and Fran decided to bring it back for a special edition, and it will be available this month, March. May not ever come back, so if you want it, I'll have links uh, for you below. This uh, The scent on this, coffee, cream liquor, liquor, uh, vanilla, butterscotch. What I primarily get off of it is that cream liquor, vanilla, and a little bit of butterscotch. I don't get a lot of coffee. The scent strength on this is a little under medium uh, off the puck, and I think what some people get from the scent is that cream liquor, liquor which sort of has a... Um, I can't describe how, how it smells, but you can definitely, I think, get some of that cream liquor. This is a good quality soap. This is PAA CK6, which is often considered to be one of the best vegan soaps on the market. We'll show you the ingredients right there, and there's nice butters in it and so on and so forth. The cost for this is $24.95 for five ounces, and on a cost chart there, that is a four, fair price of uh, $4.99. I'm trying to go quickly and I'm getting ahead of myself and getting tongue twisted. Uh, this was sent to me, by the way, for free from uh, Phoenix as sort of a tribute. So, so thank you, Doug and Fran. I really appreciate it. I enjoy this scent. Uh, it's, it's really, again, for me, just sort of throwback thing. And that, of course, is me right there in that little chalice. And uh, let's get going today. We're going to start off with the uh, pre-shaved cube from PAA, which is, I'm really whittling it down. So we're we're getting down to the bottom of that. And I'm going to start by misting the dome here, just applying a little hydration. And then we're just going to grab the cube in. And my lather over here has been sitting for a little bit because I'm trying to sneak this shave in on a lunch. And I got a couple of uh, work calls. So if it doesn't look great, it's because it's lost some of its hydration. But no worries. I'm sure we'll get a nice shave all the same. The razor today is the leaf and I have two Astra SP half blades in there in the bottom spot and the middle spot. This can take three half DE blades, but today we're going with two because that's been working well for me. And if some if it's, if something is working well, I figure let's stick with it, why not? Two blades has been working just fine. So we'll just continue to roll with that. And what I'm trying to do here is just froth that pre-shave off a little bit. It'll add a little bit of slickness to your lab, it may be volume if you need it. I won't need that with the CK6, but it's certainly not gonna hurt anything. So I figure I have the pre-shave, why not use it? it? Certainly will not hurt. All right, let me rinse my hands here real quick and then we'll get right down to it. All right, making sure those hands are dry is critical in any shaving application when you're wielding something with sharp blades such as this, and the brush today is the PAA Atomic Rocket. It's what I used this morning uh, for the face shave, and I really enjoyed this soap this morning, and so I hope to get a great head shave out of it, and we expect to. And this time I've lathered, lathered, lathered it, Oof. particularly tongue twisted today, and that's what happens. I get to talking fast, and my mouth just cannot do it sometimes. <laughs> my mouth is engaged, my brain is not, of course, that's something a lot of us suffer from, I think, me more so than a lot of people, but we'll try to slow it down a little bit. I'm excited, and also I'm trying to make sure I get this shave in before I get any more calls. I am technically on lunch, but, you know, duty calls sometimes, so. All right, we got plenty of lather going on. i tell you one thing, the CK6, in terms of volume, you're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna have any volume problems. And then on top of it, we've got the, uh, the cube, going so there will be no volume problems today i can assure you that there will be no slick slickness problems i can assure you that and i really like using this uh atomic rocket it's a big knot it's 26 listed as 26 but to me 
It feels like a good 30. All right, let's see if we can spread this out just a little bit because we got plenty of volume there. More than enough. That's probably enough for three, for three shades <laughs> right there. Okay, let's set that aside. Got plenty of volume. Let's make sure we don't we don't need it need the shave clear down to our eyeballs. So let's remove that. And we shall get started today with the usual suspect, the leaf. This is this is my daily driving head shaving razor for daily head shaving. I really enjoy using it. And again, it's a uh, it's all metal. That's one of the things leaf likes to do is as much as possible, be environmentally friendly, so on and so forth. And so if that's something that's important to you, perhaps it's something uh, to consider. If it's not, no big deal. It's always up to you on what you choose to purchase. And of course, what you enjoy. And you know me, I always say, use whatever you please and enjoy it to the max. That's what it's about, or at least it certainly is for me. Enjoyment is paramount. And if you're enjoying yourself, then continue to do so as long as you're not harming others in the process. Um, use those products that really make you happy and certainly products that lend itself to a good shave for you. And that's what we try to do. And a leaf has been for the last solid year for me a really excellent head shave. Now I will say, I always like to say this, there's a learning curve with the leaf. Uh, especially if you're coming from carts because uh, these blades are pretty sharp. And of course you can customize that sharpness by using whatever blades you want to use. You know, the level of sharpness can be dialed up or down depending on the blade you choose or how many. But just keep in mind that, you know, this is not a cart. Resist the temptation to press down, you know, just sort of let that pivot follow the um, contours of the dome. That's what I do for the most part. Uh, with the cart, a lot of times you tend to apply pressure. With the leaf, I try to let the pivot sort of do the work and just hold it in place. I'm just holding it and letting it glide. That's how I use the leaf. And that's how it works best. The one thing you never want to do with any razor, and especially the leaf, is make a horizontal movement when the blade is oriented this way. If you get anything going like that, it's cut city. And believe me, I've cut myself a few times with the leaf being careless and not being mindful to keep those strokes always... Um, let, me, let me put it a different way. Not to make a sort of horizontal movement by mistake or you know where you, while you're moving it around. If you do go horizontal when it's oriented this way, you better also be going up and down vertically. So you can make a diagonal stroke, but if you do it this way, it's cut city. Even a little bit, but that's the case with almost any razor. But I have found that when I've made mistakes with the leaf, that has been what the mistake was. Just not being uh, mindful. And uh, you do need to remain mindful. Now, it is not a super aggressive razor, the leaf. It's not gonna feel crazy aggressive, regardless of how many blades you have in it. At least it doesn't for me. But, but, you do need to respect the leaf because if you don't, you know, you can cut yourself with it. So make sure you're minding your technique at all times and it will be fine. But if you get sloppy and you get, a, you know, one of those horizontal movements when the blade is oriented that way, um, it will definitely let you know that it does not appreciate. <laughs> it will remind you that you are not doing the right thing with the razor. <laughs> and we don't want those sort of reminders. So make sure that you're remaining cognizant of what you're doing at all times. And I'm just trying to do a We'll clean up here as I'm going. All right, first pass, very nice. Looks like I missed a little streak right there. And sometimes when you're talking, you'll you'll miss a few strips here and there, but no problem. 
we'll get it all taken care of by the end of the day. And, and uh, that first pass, very nice. The soap was plenty slick. And again, I like this scent, um, but I have seen some people like uh, the Stallion, the dude of Shaving Jr., who said when they lathered that they got something else. And I think what they're getting is that cream liqueur, which can't have that boozy sort of scent to it. And that's what I'm getting. Um, so I'm getting the definitely vanilla. I don't get much coffee. I get that vanilla and cream liqueur, I think, primarily. Um, but... I enjoy it. it. It sort of takes me back, you know, and so it's been a fun soap for me to use and smell. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that they thought enough of me to re-release it. And again, I don't know if it will be released again. Um, so if you want it, um, grab it. I will have some links for you below. And I'll, I'll remind you as always, when you use the affiliate links, it does, it does help the channel. So I appreciate that. However, it's always your choice. I don't ask you to buy anything. Um, but if you happen to use those links, I appreciate it. All right. We got plenty of volume. I tell you what, PAA soaps in general, they don't suffer from any <laughs> lack of volume. They will really blow up on you and create a lot of volume. And you don't really have to use a tremendous amount of soap. Um, to get good volume, let's try to paint that in a little bit. I got plenty of soap here. Certainly no problem with it. And there's some good hydration in there, I think. And uh, it's very slick. It feels good. No uh, fragrance burning or anything like that. So overall, just a pleasant experience for me. And a trip back to, say, uh, 2014 when, when this was uh, originally released. I'm just going to clean up the neck area first and... I like to work around my ears first. Make sure you hold them down when you're head shaving. I have cut myself around my ears quite a few times over the years when head shaving. So just be careful with that. I'm coming up on year number four of, uh, or actually I'm almost complete. I've almost completed year four of uh, dome shaving. And so I'll have to look up that uh, dome, shame, dome shaving anniversary and uh, replay the video for my very first ever dome shave, which I did on camera around four years ago. And I, <laughs> I will roll that footage for you uh, in that sort of anniversary shave, which is pretty funny, I think. Uh, we've done a lot of head shaves since that time. For the first three years solid i shaved um my head almost every day i might have missed five or ten head shaves um in a year in those first three years because i i just loved head shaving every day and the last year i realized that skipping one day in between head shaves actually produced a better result just felt nicer and so for the past year i've been head shaving every other day and i've really enjoyed that so you have a little more growth and it seems to be a little easier to uh, take down or at least that's what it seems like for me. And so I have really uh, enjoyed that every other day head shaving the last year. But in the four years that we've been uh, doing this, we've done a lot of head shaves, that's for sure. Because we don't skip a lot of shaves. We love to shave and that's why we do it. And we do it <laughs> oftentimes on cam. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching and participating with the channel. Certainly couldn't do it without you. Thank you. And I tell you what, this, uh, this Bailey's today is just a, it's a nice trip down memory lane back in the had hair days. <laughs> a lot of things have changed since then. Um, but boy, we were happy to still be doing it and enjoying shaving and enjoying the advocacy for the hobby. Um, as I've mentioned before, for me, the number one goal has always been enjoyment. Number two, advocacy for the hobby. But number one is enjoyment. If I'm not enjoying it, there's no point in doing it. 
that's the key. So I like to use the things that I like to use and primarily I'm using things that, uh, that I like and want to use because it is for me primarily about enjoyment. So sometimes you won't see perhaps certain products on the channel because maybe I don't enjoy using them or they're not for me, you know. So I'm not just doing shaves on video for the, for the purpose of, you know, gaining views, although I really appreciate all the views. I really want to enjoy these products. And every time I buy a product, my expectation is that I'm buying a product I want to keep and enjoy. Now that doesn't always work out because sometimes we have misses obviously, but my goal is to buy products that I will want to keep and use um, again and again. And we don't always hit the mark, but that's always our goal. So we don't buy things just for the purpose of showing them on video. Um, let's do some touching up here. We'll just pull a little lather out in the hand. And this, this spot right here is always a, is pretty hard to get. And I gotta go over it and over it and over it and do some buffing and sort of pull the skin taut, coming at it from many different angles there. We're trying to at least. There we go. And hopefully we're getting it. Did I cut myself there? I might've got myself a little bit there. I think I did a little bit, but no worries. Rarely do what we get ourselves anymore with the leaf, but I did. I think I pulled a little tight there and he got myself, but we'll clean that up in just a moment. Let's get this side. This side's actually pretty good, so we'll go ahead and deal with that, and then we'll come back for the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We did use the alum because I nicked myself a little bit there. Uh, put the alum on it a little, closed right up, no problem. We followed that with the magic made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel, this is cucumber. And this was an enjoyable shave today with the Bailey's Irish Coffee. Again, trip down memory lane, originally released in 2014. I don't know if it will be released again. As mentioned before, I don't know if it'll be seasonal or not. So I suggest if you want it, get it. I will have links for your convenience below. We used the leaf today and we got an excellent shave. We did, uh, we did get a nick there, so we got a little sloppy there, but otherwise nice shave, nothing really to complain about. We use the PAA uh, Atomic Rocket brush, which to me always feels bigger than 26 millimeters. It feels like a 28 or 30 millimeter knot to me. Really nice. We use the PAA Cube and we're gonna finish it off with the Bailey's Irish Coffee Splash. And again, for me, the scent on this vanilla, you definitely, I think I get a lot of that cream liquor, um, which I personally enjoy. And with the PAA splashes, what I do is put my finger over the tip and just allow some to come out. And the wife's not here now, so I can use a little more than I did in my face shape. And just like that, bam! We're gonna have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing day and some amazing shaves. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.